Medical Applications of Neural Networks. This presentation has been produced for the University of Redlands course ISYS 425, Decision Support Systems. Instructed by Dr. Richard Savage, presented by Dana Rodden. One of the sources used for this report is the William R. Wiley EMSL, or Environmental Molecular Sciences Laboratory. The EMSL is a national scientific facility designed for the study and advancement of molecular and computational sciences. The purpose of the facility is to provide a training ground where scientists will gain a better understanding of the biological and environmental effects associated with applied energy. One branch of the EMSL also used as a source for this report is the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. Pacific Northwest has experienced developing both prototypes and delivered systems which integrate neural networks with hardware and software. Their work includes applications for a variety of clients, including two medical devices, which have received U.S. patents. This report will define for the viewer what neural networks are, how they are used, why they are effective, commercial applications, applications and development, and the first living cyborg. What are ANNs, artificial neural networks? ANNs are mathematical models that emulate some of the observed properties of biological nervous systems. They draw on the analogies of adaptive biological learning. The key element of this paradigm is the novel structure of the information processing system. It is composed of a large number of highly interconnected processing elements tied together with weighted connections that are the way impulses are passed from one neuron to another. Simplified, neural networks are information analysis tools based on the human nervous system. Neural networks are effective for finding solutions to a variety of problems, such as speech, character, and signal recognition. Functional prediction and system modeling where the physical processes are not understood or are highly complex. Control problems where the input variables are measurements used to drive an output actuator and the network learns the control function. The advantage of ANNs lies in the resilience against distortions in the input data and their capability of learning. They are often good at solving problems that are too complex for conventional technologies. Simplified neural networks are effective at recognizing patterns such as statistics or probabilistic modeling, classifying data such as conventional image processing, and signal processing which is at the heart of voice recognition systems. Neural networks in medicine help to assist physicians with therapeutic and diagnostic decisions. One commercial success, Neuromedical Systems Automated Pap Smear System, is one that accurately screens suspect samples. Other medical uses for neural networks include, but are not limited to, analysis classification of EEG signals, assistance in diagnosing dermatologic conditions, Monitoring physiologic data during surgery. X-ray image analysis. Neural networks smell. Electronic artificial noses, such as the one pictured below, are being developed as systems for the automated detection and the classification of odors, vapors, and gases. For example, a person's breath can divulge the potential for any gastric conditions they may have, as well as determine their blood sugar level or even reveal symptoms of other illnesses that may be present in their body. A neural network that smells has many environmental uses. Identification of toxic wastes. Analysis of fuel mixtures. Detection of oil leaks. Identification of household odors. Monitoring air quality. Monitoring factory emission or testing groundwater for odors. Who knows better? The metropolitan uses of neural networks would indicate that machines do. Forensics find neural networks to be effective at tracing odors at the scene of a crime. Extreme or just extremely slow. What do you get when you cross a computer with a snail? The answer is the first living cyborg. Wired Magazine, January 2002. Accomplished last spring by Peter Fromhers and Gunther Zeck at the Max Planck Institute for Biochemistry near Munich. 
a gastropod's neuronal network was attached to a semiconductor chip. Electrical signals passed from the chip through a small group of interconnected neurons and back again. The real challenge is reported to be linking 15,000 biological circuits into a living computer, the real mother of motherboards. In closing, a brief summary. What has been presented to you in this report are two sites pertaining to the molecular interpretations of neural networks. What neural networks are, how they are used, why they are effective, commercial applications, applications and development, and the first living cyborg. This presentation has been produced for the University of Redlands course ISYS 425 Decision Support Systems, instructed by Dr. Richard Savage, presented by Dana Rodden. Thank you for viewing this presentation on medical applications of neural networks.